everyone, I'm Essa and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about light and heat energy and how we can protect ourselves from too much light and heat from the sun. But before that, what is energy? Energy is the ability to do work. We need energy to grow and do things. Plants and animals need energy too. destroyed? Yes! Energy cannot be created or destroyed. It can only be converted from one form of energy to another. For example, plants get energy from the sun. Animals get energy by eating plants. People get energy by eating plants and animals. Both plants and animals become fossil fuels after millions of years. Fossil fuels include natural gas, coal, and petroleum. Fossil fuels are used to produce electricity for homes, school, and to run machines for industries. Gasoline and diesel from petroleum are used to run cars and other vehicles. Energy has various forms such as light, heat, and sound energy. But today, we're just gonna focus on light and heat energy. Most of the energy we use comes from the sun. The sun is a big ball of gases. Without the sun, life would be impossible on Earth. The sun is our natural source of heat and light energy. But too much of it is harmful. Have you ever heard of UV rays? UV rays or ultraviolet radiation is a type of energy produced by the sun. The sun's UV is the main cause of skin cancer. Too much exposure to the sun's UV is harmful. It can cause sunburn and other skin problems. Here are some tips. Number one, stay under shade. Always stay under shade of trees or buildings to avoid direct sun rays. Number two, use an umbrella or a hat to protect yourselves from the heat of the sun. As much as possible, walk under shade. Number three, apply sunscreen, especially if you will stay under the sun between 10 a.m. and 3 p.m. Number 4. Do not look directly at the sun. Wear sunglasses or a wide rimmed hat to protect your eyes. Number 5. Drink plenty of water to feel refreshed and avoid dehydration. Besides the sun, there are other sources of light and heat such as flashlight, light bulb, burning wood, stove, candles, and so much more. Light and heat energy are important in our daily lives. But we need to be very careful when handling and storing different sources of heat and light to avoid fire and getting hurt. That's all for today guys. Hope you learned something. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!